What's up guys, we got brand new Yu-Gi-Oh cards and more importantly, a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh archetype called the Raikas. So these are coming out in Legacy of Destruction, which is set to release actually pretty soon here in the OCG. But anyways, let's go and check out the new archetype and see if they are any good. So starting right off, we have the Raika no Mari Kube. So here's the artwork on this card. It's got zero, zero. It looks like it's an earth level one and it's gonna be a plant. Okay, so it says you can only special summon with the first effect of this card's name once per turn. Then it says you can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. So the first part is you get to special summon this card from your hand by sending one insect, plant, or reptile monster from your hand to the graveyard. The second part is if this card is normal or special summon, you get to add up to two of your Rika cards with different names that are banished and or in your deck to your hand except for Rika no Marikube. Then banish one Raika card from your hand. Also, you can't special some monsters for the rest of the turn except for insect, plant, and reptile monsters. Okay, so it's, it's a hybrid um, type over here. But, I mean, being able to add whatever you want from the deck is pretty insane, especially since you can add double. Yeah, you do go minus one, but it's not probably going to be that big of a deal. Uh, next up, that we have Raika no Yaha Zu uh, Kimikiri. So this is, a, it looks like a level three. It's a light insect, uh, 1500 attack, zero defense points. And it says you can only special summon with the first effect of this card's name once per turn. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. So the first part is you can special summon this card from your hand by placing one of your banished insect, plant, or um, reptile monsters on the bottom of the deck. So you get to recycle the stuff. And then the second part is, if the uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard as material for the Link Summon of a Raikou monster, you can target one level four or lower insect, plant, or reptile monster graveyard, and uh, except for itself, and then special summon it in defense position. Wow. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So you can instantly go for anything, and then you can bring back another card, so that kind of replenishes itself. And then next up, we have the uh, Raika no uh, Yori. Uh, Tokage. So this is a level 4. It looks like it's going to be a dark and it's got 0 attack, 2300, and it's going to be a reptile. It says you can only spell summon with the first effect of this card's name once per turn. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. So the first part is you can special summon this card from your hand by banishing an insect, plant, or reptile monster from your graveyard. The second part is you can discard one insect, plant, or reptile monster, target one face up monster your opponent controls except for insect, plant, or reptile monster, and return to hand. If only this effect was a quick effect, this would actually be kind of solid, considering it has zero attack. It's more likely only defensive, so I guess you get to bring it out and you get to just bait something out of your opponent, uh, but maybe after you discard it, it fills up the grave, so you can maybe get some extra utility uh, with it. Next up, though, we have the Raikou no Musha Dokuro. So this is their first, uh, I guess, stronger monster here with 1600 attack, Link 2, Fire Plant. Um, so it's, it's requirements are two monsters in the link zones in the bottom left and the bottom right, and it's two monsters including an insect, plant, or reptile monster. It says you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn. Also, you cannot special some monsters the turn you activate them, except for insect, plant, and reptile monsters. First part says you can target one Raika monster in your graveyard to special summon in defense position. Second part is, if this card is in your graveyard, you target one insect, plant, or reptile monster you control, place it on the bottom of the deck, and if you do, special summon this card. Okay, considering you can just re-bring this back. So it's a lot of like reoccurring kind of stuff, it seems like, uh, but I mean, the stats is 1600. <laughs> Next up, we have Raika no Uka Minushi over here. So this is gonna be a Link 3, uh, Link Zones in the left, bottom, and bottom right. 2300 attack, looks like it's gonna be a wind. Um, and it says two plus monsters, including an insect, plant, or reptile monster. It says that you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. So the first part is you get to banish two insect, plant, and or reptile monsters from your graveyard to add one Raika trap from your deck to your hand. The second part is if this card is your graveyard, you target insect, plant, or reptile monster you control, place it on the bottom of the deck, and if you do, special summon this card. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except for insect, plant, and reptiles. Okay. So... Again, a lot of reoccurring stuff, but the effects aren't really that insane other than, I guess, this, unless the trap is just like a, basically a solemn. We'll have to wait and see. How many more cards do we have? Okay, so we, we got maybe more stronger monsters, okay? So uh, don't sign them out yet. Next up, we have the Raika no Kusari Gami, which is a fire reptile link effect. 2900 attack, and it's going to be a link four. So hopefully this one will be actually quite strong. Uh, but considering you can just keep on bringing back the card, it's really not that big of a deal. So this one over here uh, has two monsters, including insect, plant, uh, or reptile monster. It says you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. So the first part is if your opponent activates a monster effect, you can make both players unable to activate monster effects in the hand for the rest of the turn. Hmm. I mean, that, that has some potential. Like, uh, if, like, 
you go for some sort of a combo and you get like stop but you already have this card out more likely they would stop it before this card would come out but the second part is if this card is in your graveyard target an insect plant or reptile monster you control place on the bottom of the deck and then special summon this card also you can have special monsters uh, for the rest of the deck, separate insect plant and reptile monster okay so this one's actually pretty decent because now we actually have a pretty decent effect but it would require your opponent to not negate this card's effect because it could still like just stop this effect right if it, it at least said like even if this card gets negated or something like that um or whatever would happen something else would be a little bit better with it but still it's got decent stats now okay now here's their super mega boss monster this is the raika no Dayu uga so it's a 3300 looks like it's an earth insect link five uh and the zones are uh left right bottom left bottom right and bottom it's got all the good link zones and it requires two insect plant and or reptile monsters and it says you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn so the first part is if a monster special summon from your opponent's deck and or extra you can destroy two monsters on the field it's not even up to, so it has to be two, so if there's only one, <laughs> then you're popping itself, or just letting it go through. Second part is, um, if this card is in your graveyard, you target an insect, plant, or reptile monster you control, place it on the bottom of the deck, and then special summon this card, and then you can't special summon monsters except for insect, plant, and reptile. Okay, so if you have two of them out, like, then they're kind of stuck, it's like a, I don't know, I almost want to say, like, what is it, a great Shogun Sheehan, but instead of, like, the spell and trap, it's like, okay, you can only use, like, one monster, effect, but it's only in the hand. If it was, like, anywhere, then this would have, like, insane, uh, potential, but this card effect, if this was an up to, considering it's only like a like one turn so your opponent still gets that first effect right that they're stopping in the hand trap form right if they are activating that and then this one over here again it is kind of double-edged sword sometimes because you may lose out on a monster so there's a lot of downsides honestly to this archetype already but hold on we got some more support next up we have the Raika Ryo Ran Kuru Isaki so it's a continuous spell here's with the artwork on it and it says that you can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. So the uh, first part says all insect, plant, and reptile monsters on the field gain 300 attack slash defense. All, also, all other face-up monsters on the field lose 300 attack and defense. So basically, think of it like a 600 boost that's permanent. And then the second part is you can activate one of these effects. So you could add one Raika monster from your deck to your hand, then discard a card. Okay, this replenishes itself. The next part is to on one of your Raika monsters that is banished or in your hand or graveyard defense. Okay, so that allows you basically to always consistently just keep on getting your extra fodder because whatever. Um, it's just placing any insect. Now, I'm trying to think of what like insect can just keep on reoccurring if it is placed in the bottom of the deck. I don't know. Like, there is insect mill decks. Oh, is it not, not Goki Boar? I mean, maybe you can throw in like a Goki Boar uh, and mix this in with this. But, um, it was like Magical Merchant or something. Maybe you can just like dump your entire graveyard. But we just still don't have grass. But nonetheless, we have their trap card. Remember, you can search out this trap card. So the trap card is a regular one called the Raika Darin Kubi Kari Mai, which is a normal trap card that says you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. The first part is target cards your opponent controls up to the number of insect, plant, and reptile link monsters you control with different types and destroy them. Okay. And then the second part is if a face up plant, uh, insect, plant, and or reptile monster you control is destroyed with battle card effect, while this card is in your graveyard except the turn it was sent there, you can banish this card to target a monster your opponent controls and destroy. Okay. So you basically you get to go kind of like get a small little advantage. What do you guys think of the new Raika archetype? Is it a W? Is it an L? I, I mean, at first glance, I want to say that it seems kind of weak, um, but like as a standalone archetype, but considering you could just bring out Link 4 and just go into other cards, right? Because you, all you do is place one. Now, I'll have to double check on any of the good other targets that we can go for like other Link 5s and 4s and whatever, um, because if they are Insect, Plant, or Reptile, then this archetype could just be a really good splashable, just like, just make this card, just keep on bringing it back again and again. Anyways, that's my thoughts on the right, guys. Let me know yours down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. If you're new here, subscribe, turn the bell so you don't miss out on more new Yu-Gi-Oh cards coming out in Legacy of Destruction and the future and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out